Hey there, Taurus. Someone rising on Venus. Placement. This is Lasho Magical. Thank you so very much for tuning and joining in. Definitely look for making yourself comfortable and uh, enjoying it. Hopefully you're going to resonate. This is still a general reading, something that you should always keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with you. So we will dive straight into that. Go with the flow and you take only what does resonate with you, Taurus. Okay, so this is for your heavy placements. Like I mentioned, and uh, it's a timeless reading as a monthly forecast from the moment you watch this. If you are new to my channel, a uh, special welcome to you. I hope you're here to stay. And if you are coming back, thank you so very much for all of your support. I truly appreciate that, Taurus. So let's see what is meant to find you within that month. Okay, I will be clarifying the messages as I usually do. And if you're willing to uh, take a look into your personal storyline and have a personal reading with me, very much appreciated. I would love to do that. So um, visit the um, description box for more information when it comes to that. Okay, Taurus, let's start with your overall energy. We have the Eight of Stones. Uh, this is Earth energy, your energy. And it's about uh, creation and building something. Something is building up for you. Something is cooking in here for you. I feel like you are very in tune into that earthy energy of yours. I feel like that you are very in your zone or at least you are working towards that way to create that foundation for yourself uh, and your stability, especially feeling grounded and stability. I feel like there is somebody, maybe you dealt with this person already in the past, Taurus. Uh, somebody who is in the energy of the King of Cups, the King of Mirrors, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like this person is watching you secretly and having an eye on you. Um, so for some of you, you may know this person. For others of you, you may not. Um... Again, as the storyline that you may be dealt with this person or you have not already. Um, but they are truly having feelings and emotions towards you and truly deeply caring about you, Taurus. And just want to see how far you will come. I feel like you're single at this very moment. Um, and you're just putting your focus and into in, and concentration into uh, building and creating something. You might be having pets. A very hardworking energy, you know, the Eight of Stones. And it, it has that um, very positive outcome of successful energy and abundance and um, definitely giving me the insight of um, I know what I'm doing. It's definitely paying off for me. I'm getting more and more aware of that. And I am keep on doing that. Like, yes. Uh, when it comes to your messages, you have opening up of the muse. Which is, you know, for those of you interested, I'm using the crystallized tarot. I just love the illustration of this deck. And I always pick my decks once I you know, um, get to feel. So back to the muse. This is the queen of spirals. So we have the queen of fire appearing as very motivating, inspiring and supporting and loving and caring. And uh, it can be that you might be having some prominent uh, fire in your chart. For some of you, I'm picking up the energy. This might be the representation of yours, Taurus. And for artists of you, this is somebody who is accurate in your life at this period of time. Or maybe even somebody who is coming in. Uh, and if so, you have then two people who are definitely having an eye on you, Taurus. Um, but, you know... Um, It can be that this is your energy. I will get to clarify straight away and get more detail into that storyline. 
Um, very confident, very self-aware, um, a go-getter energy. So uh, we have integration as the first message of clarification. Let's get another one and then talk about it. Integration is all about balance. So uh, Taurus, if this is you, you are definitely trying to work off your balance and to find your way back home. For some of you, this can mean literally your way back home, uh, like in your hometown or wherever your heart tells your home is. <coughs> and for others of you, uh, finding your back home to that earthy quality energy of I'm stable and grounded and I just know the deal with myself. Uh, the Queen of Spirals in this deck is appearing very gentle, almost having the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, but just very mixed with the fiery energy and um, all that confidence. You can see the yellow is just exploding out of her and that is the color of the third chakra, the solar plexus chakra, which is all about self-esteem, confidence, the power and the authenticity that one has within itself. And um, it's, it's almost like full package when you get to hear it like this. Uh, but again, whether this is you or this person, this is a persona who tries to balance the shit together. Who tries to balance the energies that are inside of her in order to see the positive outcome from the inside. Again... This is somebody who is quite, quite aware and quite spiritual person, um, animal lover for sure. We also have another message of clarification. This is braveness, being brave. And um, yeah, fire prominent as well in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, we have discipline. So this is a lesson that you are learning right now at this very moment. Um, Probably the bad again. This is disciplining uh, the elements inside of you because every human being has all five elements within themselves. So we have fire, earth, water, air, and ether, which is um, I don't know. It's it's not the word you say it on English. Um, but it's like the universal. So we have the balance. I'm, I'm also picking up the balance of emotions, the balance of feelings, the balance of um, my polarities of the day and night. You get to see this is the fire representation. And we have um, just on the polarity side of that, the water. So uh, it's almost like balancing your gentle side which is that muse and balancing the side that is, you know, can provoke and have the language and get the attitude when they're angry, that kind of a stuff. So, um, bottom of the deck, we have misery. And this is something that you are dealing at this very moment. And I feel like this is just one of the feeling, one of the emotions. I feel like at this very moment, you are feeling a lot. We are all going through very much of the processes. We have the full moon happening tomorrow in the sign of Aquarius. Full moon, the new moon. Full moon. I'm not sure anymore. I believe it's the full moon. And, you know, like five, six planets moving station retrograde. So it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy for all of us. Uh, let's move and clarify your next message, Taurus, which is magnificent. Uh, it's the magician representing here ravens. This is a major arcana just in the middle of your spread. So um, I feel like you will get into that balance and stability uh, by the, you know, mid... My baby fell asleep. Yeah. Um, like by the mid of the month, uh, you will get that balance. You will see the changes. You will see the progress that you get much calmer and stuff. And that is where magic starts to kick in. So um, I feel like 
maybe multiple manifestations that you wish for that you truly give your purpose in some manifesting uh, they're still in the background happening for you probably that's why you're going through this kind of a transformative awakening to get it more spiritual and level up so um, you know this is about truth seeking and uh, you will be definitely having realizations uh, getting way more honest and open with you because you will get to see your truth and um, live in your authentic authenticity <laughs> success just talking about that okay let's clarify that uh, you know as I have mentioned this is a major kind of number of one so it's a it's a totally new start totally new chapter something that you have not uh, cooked yet, try yet, have yet, seen yet, explore yet, and experience yet. So, um, I feel like you're looking forward. Okay, so let's see. We have trust. Uh, for those of you who had trust issues, you will until that moment. Because I feel like the manifestation will come true, your wish will come true, you will get to see how much this means to you, um, how much you were guided and protected to come that point, and that all of this was a part of the big happening with that um, magician energy. And I'm getting goosebumps because I just saw the next message, uh, which is, um, again, a pentacle stone earth energy, the three of stones, the three of pentacles. Uh, anyhow, we have also the clarification of magician and ravens with leadership, which is Aries energy. So uh, if some fire prominent, that might be Aries for some of you who will resonate with the reading. We have the leadership. So yeah, taking the leadership, taking the leadership, um, relaxing a little bit more, learning to trust, uh, getting into the process and just seeing uh, how much you leveled up and how much this actually paid off for you. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have morals. And I feel like this might be a duality. Uh, maybe that's why two ravens um, are pointed in here on the card. Um, because I feel like your morals, your ego, uh, your belief system may come in between uh, within that spiritual uh, yeah, we have tower just underneath that. This is Scorpio heavy energy uh, out of a nowhere a happening, an event, a situation. Uh, I'm picking up blockages, so it can be that through this you will remove some blockages which were confronting your belief system, your morals, what you stand up for, um, you know, your pride and stuff like that. So let's keep on moving to the Three of Stones energy as your third message. Um, the Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. And in this case, we get to see uh, three O's coming together. So uh, you will get to be more social. Uh, you will get to be more outgoing by the end of this month. Uh, and again, you count it as a month from the point moment you're watching this. So. Um, very passionate energy, a lot of communication, a lot of topics that you guys will be sharing. Uh, this can be a new group of people that you will meet. Uh, it has that home vibe, which is uh, trusting and comfortable. Um, so it can be that you will not be that, that much outgoing, but, you know, inviting your friends over. Um, Let's clarify that. Just energy sharing. Okay, in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like this, this is the new uh, group of people that you will meet after your awakening. Uh, because I have politics going in the reverse, which I adore to see, especially by this clarification where we have, you know, your energy and energy of other people involved uh, those friends will not be fake those friends will not have masks in front of you so uh, 
this will be people who will truly vibe with you and who you can trust. And I know for Taurus to trust is a big challenge, but uh, you will just get to feel that you can do that with these people. Um, so clarification, we have the dream. Uh, for some of you, this is a part of your dreams coming true. Maybe for a lot of you, it was your dream. And I truly believe that it is that you find a group of people who will get you, understand you, be there for you, um, give you support, have your support, and who you can trust. Yeah, we have the master and the dream. It can be that some of you, you will meet your new romantic partner um, in a friends group. Maybe you will start off as very close friends and uh, maybe that will turn into something that is passionately burning okay uh but take it slow there <laughs> um yeah i love this this is beautiful clarification it's mastering leveling up learning the lesson and trusting i'm picking up a lot of trust within this one and you know just look at the message the dream it's like the dream is coming true and you're looking in it, like in front of your eyes. And yeah, we have at the bottom of the deck wholeness, just feeling whole, just satisfied and lucky and happy. Because once you get this kind of a, a combination, all you can be is happy. And underneath that is battle. So this is a period of time that is done. It's over. Battle is done. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see the potential advice for you for this reading. Taurus, Summer Rising and Venus placements. Creation. Creation. Step out on faith and walk into your purpose. Be guided by what you love most in life. Loving. Okay, let's see some answers that are coming through for you. Uh, Taurus, I wanted to say Pisces. So maybe there is something Pisces. Uh, there is something with Pisces that is accurate or will be accurate. I don't know. Um, so we're having not the right time. This can be something that you're heavily thinking about or that you just literally right now asked. Not the right time. So um, if, if, if you're wondering, that's it. At the bottom of the deck, we have listened to your intuition. Yeah. Okay, let's see some chakra messages. For you, my lovely Taurus, pay attention to your dreams. It's all connected. So you are getting a message spread. If you have fear of failure, meditate with red stones and candles. So work on your first chakra, the root chakra, getting yourself grounded, uh, especially if you have Aries prominent, okay? Healing process is needed or present. This is the heart chakra. Uh, just telling us what it is and that's totally fine I trust my guidance by my divine so on that healing process you're truly learning to discipline yourself and to gain trust into yourself into the God and that everything is truly happening for your highest good bright dreams there is a message you need remember so once again dreams for some of you you are quite psychic use that use that gift and we have air signs libra Gemini, aquarius interestingly enough capricorn was getting the same message uh so maybe you also have some capricorn in your chart uh or maybe you should also watch the capricorn reading maybe there are some messages for you take a look you will never know until you take a look that's that full energy uh, so, Libra Gemini Aquarius, once again, air sign, uh, according to the throat chakra. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe also 
some of those prominent in your chart or uh, this might be the person that is um, heavily on your mind that um, you were dealing with or maybe somebody who is yet to come your way let's see love oracle messages for Taurus So a lot of you, you are definitely healing and you are awakening that muse, that queen of spirals. The first one is forgive. Forgive yourself in order to also be able to forgive others. Give yourself much more credit. Please pay attention to treat yourself. Love doesn't have to mean near. Okay, so uh, there is or will be some... You know, maybe not in your city. I don't necessarily pick up not in the same country, if rare for some of you, but maybe not in the same city or a little bit far than, uh, you know, where you are living. Time to make a demonstration. This is a message about manifestation. You were born with that it quality. And that it quality for a lot of you is that case with psychic and uh, you know having the ability to uh, dream very vivid lucid uh, with very strong and important messages uh, for your 3d realm and your reality in here so uh, this would have for you Taurus I truly enjoyed this reading like very moving and positive energy um, we have a healing presence so I actually love this and I hope you love it as well Feel free to comment. Let me know in the comment section how you resonate with that. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe if you already have not. I told you everything that I need to tell. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy the ride. And I will catch you guys soon.